What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new flashback player SBC card that just got released and it is going to be Chiellini to review today. I kind of like that dynamic image by the way, it's like a young Chiellini let's say. So yeah, props to EA for the dynamic image and props to EA that actually giving this guy a good amount of pace. Like 80 pace on a Chiellini is things you love to see. He's got 66 dribbling as well with 86 defending, 86 physicals with a 72 passing as well. If we are comparing this card to his just original gold card, we are looking at a plus 12 to pace, a plus 7 to dribbling, a plus 1 to shooting, a plus 12 to passing, a plus 1 to physicals, but a minus 3 to defending. But this is the thing with Chiellini, right? His defending stats were just simply ridiculous. So a minus 3, honestly, it's not going to make that big of a deal. I'm just happy they went out their way and gave him a huge increase to the pace. Now, he has got a 3-star weak foot. He has got 2-star skill moves. He he is left footed with medium high work rates and he is a six foot two centre back as well. Now the chem style, it's obvious, right? Very obvious. You might as well just go for the shadow chem style. There's literally no need to go for like an anger chem style because the guy already has 90 strength. He already has 87 aggression. There's no need to boost it up a little bit more. So yeah, you might as well go for the shadow chem style. Just give that, you know, extra pace, let's say. So yeah, 89 acceleration, 91 sprint speed is looking amazing on him. The shooting ability, I mean, he's got 80 shot power, but everything there looks, uh, yeah, let's not talk about it. Passing ability, it's all right. Not bad. It looks like you are going to have to keep it quite simple with him. You can't just go for these crazy switches or like through balls in behind. Just keep it quite simple because he has got 80 short passing with 80 long passing. He's not looking like the most agile player on the ball either. One thing I definitely do really, really love to see on a centre back though is the reactions and the composure both being extremely high. And Chiellini have 80, having 88 reactions with 90 composure is amazing to see. Now the defending ability. Keep in mind obviously the Shadow Chem style does boost it by a good good amount this guy has now got 96 interceptions 79 heading accuracy 95 defensive awareness 96 standing tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well i'm expecting this guy to pretty much be a brick wall let's say in that center back position as soon as i go in for a tackle i better be coming out with that ball and moving on to the physicals he's got 90 jumping him being six foot two is really good because obviously the jumping is going to allow him to win way way more headers the stamina being 78 is enough for a center back and as i said he's got the 90 strength with the 87 aggression as well you can just tell Chiellini is going to be one of those players that if he gets himself into like a contact contact situation he's going to push that play off the ball he is going to get that ball so easily it's going to be ridiculous now when it comes down to the links Italian he comes with Juventus obviously in this serial so you can link him up with that delete card the road to the knockouts delete card or you can obviously link him out you know link him with like Serie A players I, I have I've got your boy Quadrado and I've also got an icon Nakata again and I've also got Donnarumma because you get that Italian link with him now when it comes down to positions one position one position only center back position in a full 4-2 formation so let's get into the games and let's see how good this Chiellini card is actually going to be I'm going to cover that middle make sure he doesn't get that pass we actually get a block in there by the way and we are going to come out with a ball here he uses his strength for a play. I just want to see how he feels on the ball. Just to start it off. And I can tell you right now. Yeah, he is a player that doesn't feel great. It feels very heavy with him. This is going to be a 1v1. To be fair, Simeone has got three star skill. So I am expecting to come out with a ball here. That's not a great tackle. But look at the recovery, man. He done really well to be aggressive and get that ball back. And I'm trying to go for an over top through ball. But Benzema didn't want to continue his run. But hold up a second. We've got the ball. For a second, I actually thought that went in. I actually aimed a cross goal and he went near post for some reason. Push out slightly here. See how fast I can get out to the player. He's done really well. And I tried to continue just to see if we can get a slide tackle there. But that was not the case. And Umtiti getting turned inside out, by the way, with a simple touch. He's surely going to go for that through ball. There you go. Chiellini, use that strength. There you go. Hold off the player. Use his pace there just to catch up to it as well. I'm going to believe in his dribbling. He's taking so long. You see how many touches, by the way? He took just to make like a 360, let's say. Like, I'm telling you guys, use him as a player that you pass the way you're facing. Don't go for dribbles with him because you are going to lose the ball. He has to pass it into the inside or is he just going to run? He is just going to run. Chiellini, get out to him. Don't allow him to turn. Stay on him. Now we've allowed it. But look at the transition speed, by the way. Oh my God. Use that strength. Hold him off. Perfect. Go for that over top through ball and that's a nice pass. Can we maybe get a go out of this? Nah, that pass is way too heavy. Push out here. 
He has to go for a turn? No, he doesn't. He's going to go with Lorente, but did you see Chiellini's recovery there? I was trying to use his strength to completely push Lorente off the ball, but it was just not happening. But we did get it eventually. Yeah, it's him and Titi. No, nah, I'm going to have to switch a Chiellini. He actually pa passes out wide. Get that ball. There you go. Don't, don't allow him to get past you. It was meant to be a tackle, but I guess I'll take the clearance. Get to him. Don't allow him to turn. There you go. Good tackle. Oh, he actually gets away. Oh, that's meant to go to the winger, but it's fine. Whatever. I'm actually going to go for this, by the way. I just want to see if this is actually going to work. And look at that for a pass. 80 long passing, by the way. Hmm. Not sure about, about that one, EA. That's a pass and a half as well. And that is a goal. Wow. That's a good through ball. But I'm going to get straight onto it. You see what I mean about how he gets straight onto the player? And I must admit, I was questioning why he left that there. Because it looked like it was about to be a corner. But we'll take the goal kick. But yeah, the way he gets out the players is amazing to see. Let's go for this through ball. Come on. See if this works. Yeah, 80 long passing, no shot, EA. No shot. We've done that twice now with both feet as well, with the freestyle weak foot and with the stronger foot. And both times, it has worked perfectly. No through ball there. Don't allow it to happen. Get out to him here. Can I get that tackle? Yes, I can, man. Really good tackle. I can't even switch it. Titi, I'm trying to switch it. One of my center backs is not even working. Come on, Chiellini. There you go, man. Well played. Can I get out with that? Oh, wow. Quadrado puts a play onto the ground. Fake shot this. Take a few touch it there. Look at the pace. Go on. Look at the strength. Go on, Chiellini. Smack the ball to the other side. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's not such a great pass. The keeper doesn't even know if he wants to come for that or not. He's going to try to split us. I'm going to see if I can maybe push out there. Chiellini, go for that slide tackle. There you go, man. You see how fast he got out to the player there? And then once I realized that he was going to play the extra pass, I could just transition with him and then intercept that ball. He has to turn. He has to turn. There you go. We read it like an absolute book. Chiellini uses that strength to hold off for Kia as well. I like that about him, by the way. Once he puts in the tackle, I can then just go ahead and hold LT and calm down the play completely because I know his strength is going to allow me to take my time and just go ahead and make my decision. That's a good run up. I'm going to see if I can maybe cover that. Chiellini, you're going to have to get out to him here. Is he going to turn around? No, he actually tried to pass through the middle. And what an interception that is. I like how that interception, by the way, didn't bounce. You know, it was straight onto him and it stuck straight to his feet. There's a pass there. He's surely going to pass back up, right? Chiellini, you're there to put in that tackle. Well played, man. I just stood my ground there. I didn't want to overcommit because if I overcommitted in that kind of situation, it would not have ended well. And that is risky for me. Push out. Come on. Don't allow him to turn. There you go. Straight onto him. Well played. Shield him off. There you go, man. I love how he gets out to the player. Can I go for the switcher play as well? Yes, I can. Let's see what we can do off a corner with him. Come on, Chiellini. You got that jumping. You're six foot two as well. So maybe a near post header. Please. That's decent. No, we didn't put enough power into it. You know what? Since he's up here, <laughs> should we see if we can give it a little burst and cancel? Well played. Green. No, we yellow timed it. I mean, oh, wow. It was a... Uh, a bit further than I actually expected. I thought I was going quite close to the goal. Is this guy just going to run off kickoff? He's going to be one of those players, huh? One of those. Chiellini ain't going to allow that to happen. Come on, man. Let's see what we can do off this corner. Come on. Chiellini. Use that heading ability, bro. I'm just going to hit it towards the near post. This is decent. It's against N'Golo Kante as well. No shot, right? N'Golo Kante has just won a header over Chiellini. Fake this out. Decent. Imagine. Green? Oh, I, I mean... Even if we green it, is it really going to go in? I doubt it. <laughs> Let's see if he wins this one. Come on. Please, Chiellini. I need you now. This has to be. has to be, right? There you go. It wasn't the greatest of headers, I must admit. I personally believe the, the keeper should be saving that, but we'll take that. And it was a good jump as well by him. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing four games with Chiellini. We actually went ahead and scored a single goal, which I was not really expecting. I must admit, if the goal was going to happen, it probably would have came off a penalty. But somehow we've actually scored a header with him. Now, this is the thing, right? His jumping ability is top tier. He's a six foot two player. So he will win those headers. It's just when you look at a 79 heading accuracy, you kind of question if he's actually going to go ahead and score it. Now, the accuracy of the header that we scored wasn't the greatest. I definitely do believe the keeper should have saved it. But hey, I'm not, I'm not, you know, arguing against it. I will take the goal and move along. Either way, the card is top tier. Like, straight up top tier, man. The transition speed is outrageously good. Him getting out the players as well is outrageously fast. He puts in a crazy, crazy good tackle. There was times that this guy was tracking players by himself, cutting passing lanes by himself. I wasn't even controlling him, and he was doing it literally 
all by himself. The standing tackling, slight tackling, he puts in a solid tackle and he's one of those defenders where he will follow through on it. You know, he's not one of those, oh, let me go up to the guy, tackle, then go back into position. No, he likes to follow through. He likes to be aggressive and he wants to make sure he comes out with that ball with that aggression that he's actually got. And on top of that, if he does come out with a ball, you can use that strength. You can shield off the player. And that is something I really, really did love about him because he's one of those players that can get out to the person, put in that tackle. And once I got out to the person and put in the tackle, there was not much else I can do with him because it's not like he's an agile player. You know, it's not like he's got good dribbling ability because trust me, he really hasn't. So the thing that compensates for it, let's say, is that shielding ability and that 90 strength coming into play. Now, the card is going for around 120k. Do I believe it's worth it? I do. I 100% believe 120k is a really good price for this Chiellini card. I really do, man. The thing, the thing about gold Chiellini is the fact that he had good tackling ability. The physicals was good. It was literally pace that was letting him down. And now that he has got pace, yeah, it's GG, man. It's straight up GG. Do I believe this card is better like better than like a gold screenier? I do. Do I believe this card is better than Delict? I do. And I'm not talking about gold Delict here. I'm talking about obviously the road to the knockouts Delict. And I honestly do. This Chiellini card is the best center back in the Serie A, hands down. Where would he go in the defenders tier list? He goes way up there, man. He goes all the way into the S tier, man. He is outrageous straight up outrageous but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace